This one is gonna be a thriller. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kang toys, Thorilla and Rusirius. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at. The packaging is a very large box. There are two figures in here. So yes, it's a two-pack of Thorilla and Rusirius. You can see some nice artwork there of the two. On this side, Thorilla and Rusirius. 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 Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And on the bottom, there's nothing. And that's basically it for the packaging. Also included are not one, but two collector's cards. We do have one for... Thorilla, with him in both of his modes, and in the back, things that I cannot read, more things I can't read, and some text specs if that interests you, hooray for cards, and you also get one for Rusirius, with nice images there, and again, stuff that I cannot read, and text specs, hooray for cards. And moving right along, here we have Thorilla and Rusirius, the next components of Kang Toys Thunder King, their Predator King. And uh, yeah, these are two more original characters uh, they have created for this combiner. Um, now, before we get to Thorilla, we're going to go over some things really quick. So let's get down to it. So first off, we're going to take a really quick look at Rusirius here. Now, I'm going to make an executive decision here, and I'm not going to do a full review on this guy, because this guy is just like this guy right here. Um, the only differences are just the, uh, the head sculpt, the chest plates, and uh, the wolf heads are different uh, molds there. Those are the only differences between the two figures. Other than that, everything else is the same. The same articulation, the wolf mode, the combined mode, everything is the same. Transformation is the same, articulation is the same. Everything's the same, just those three remolded parts. It is a nice new head sculpt on this guy, though. Take a look at that. Yeah. like the head sculpt on him. Very nice. But yeah, I mean, uh, they're, they're basically the same figure. Oh, I'm sorry, there's actually four remolded parts because their uh, little skirt flaps are also slightly different molds. So even that's different, but again, other than that, everything else is the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a link to the The Serious Review NJTI in the description down below. If you want to see how this guy works, you'll see it with this guy. So you're literally not missing anything. These two work the same way, so you're going to get the same experience out of it. And the next thing to go over real quick is we do get like a little upgrade for Mr. Landbull here. And it just comprises of these little pieces here. I already have one installed, but basically they go into this section right here. So all you're going to do is you're going to get your screwdriver. You're going to undo these two screws right here. And once we've removed the screws, we're just going to remove this section right here. Just put that off to the side for now. You're going to bring this in, and this is how you want it oriented. Just like this. And it's just going to slide in right here. Like that. You can see how it sits in there. Nice and flush. And then you're going to just push this back on. Install the screws. And then... And once you have that done, you are good to go. Now, this is the orientation for uh, beast mode and combined mode. Now, for robot mode, you're going to be flipping it up like that. So that's the way you want it for robot mode before beast and combined mode. You want it down like that. And all that's going to happen here is it's just going to tuck under here. And now it's just going to tab into the side of the body right there like that. And it just gives this a bit more... Uh, it just makes this a lot more solid, and that's really all that's doing there. So you get a little upgrade for Land Bull. So, moving on. So now it is time for the main event of the evening. Here we have Thorilla, or as I like to call him, Optimus Primal on steroids, because he's just a big, beefy dude. He's not Optimus Primal, but, you know, definitely, uh, definitely in that kind of 
evil, beefy Optimus Primal vein. You know what I mean? It's just, you yeah, know, you, you, can, you, can, you can say they're related. You can say they're related. But yeah, um, an amazing looking figure. Love the design of this guy. I mean, I love the designs of all of these King Toys Predacons, but yeah. Very, very nicely done. But let's get in close. Yes, we can take a look, not at his body, but at his noggin. There's the noggin. You can see, nice head sculpt here. The whole back of his head is nothing but light piping here, so his eyes actually do glow very nicely under the lights. You can see that nice kind of gunmetal gray and gold and red going on there on his chest. If you can see it, if it'll focus, it says Thunder Ape. Sure, sure. But overall, really nice. Just big and beefy and big and beefy. You get some bits of silver in there as well. You get the usual... Gang Toys, a tempographed details throughout. You got some big old gold cannons there with the tips done in a transclearant red. Then you got the knees, lots of gold there. These big old feet. Move the back. You got the little, little monkey toes just kind of hanging out the back there. Move off the back. You can see everything is pretty clean. He does have a uh, have a butt flap going on there, but that's okay. But all in all, really, really cool design in my opinion. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint. So you do get some wiggly waggly. He can look up a bit, can look down a good bit. Head can do a full 360. Arms, um, if you move the shoulder pads out of the way, the arms can rotate. You have to get the shoulder pads out of the way. But they can do a full 360. Can move in and out. As you can see, a shoulder pad can move out of the way. The shoulder pad itself is also on the ball joint, so that can move around. This flap can move up and down, and even these side sections can move out. So you don't really have to move the shoulder pad out of the way to get his arms in front of him. So that's nice. So they can kind of accommodate the arm movement. You do have bicep rotation. Um, you do have a double jointed elbow. It just depends on how you have those arms oriented. You can... Have that going on right there. And as you can see, you also get rotation at the elbow itself. So if you have it oriented this way, then you're only going to get about 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. So again, depending on how you have that arm oriented, it varies your uh, degree of movement. Now, as far as the wrists go, the wrist can rotate. You also have a hinge that allows those hands to move outward. You got the posable fingers here. And you got the thumbs on a hinge at the base that can move up and down. It can also rotate on a ball joint. You have a hinge right there. Each finger is on a ball joint at the base and a hinge right there. Um, you do have waist rotation. You kind of have to move this butt flap out of the way so it's not impeded in any way. But you have waist rotation. Move the slap out of the way and you can get the legs to go forward about that far, back that far. Outwards, you can do the full splits a little bit, a little bit extra. And you got thigh rotation, which is ratcheted. You have a double jointed knee, which is ratcheted. Although, due to how chunky his shins are, you're not really going to get more than 90 degrees. With some nice beefy ratchets there. And as far as the feet go, the toes can move up. They can't move down. You do get some ankle touches and you get a little bit of rotation. Even the heel can move up and down some. Now, as far as accessories go, we do have uh, these pieces right here, which I'll show off what these are for once we get down to transforming him, but these do serve a purpose, a pretty cool purpose also, uh, but we'll show those off a little bit later. Uh, we do also get some weaponry. We get a, uh, a big old blaster here with the silver, the transclear and red in there. Um, you also have these bits, which just store right here. I have no idea what purpose these serve. Um, I'm sure they serve some purpose for the combined mode, but the instructions don't say anything about it. They just say where to store them, and they just store right here. You get one on either side. So, you know, that's a thing you can do. Um, but he can hold this. this. This gun also does unfold for reasons. I'm assuming this is also for combined mode. But again, the instructions don't say what to do with it as of yet. But he can hold this as 
a blaster as such so we can pew bang bang pew pew bang bang and all that good stuff i didn't have his fingers wrapped around it that's why i fell right out but there you go so he can hold that you know what just now we're not doing this you don't want to hold your gun fine don't hold it but we also have a big old battle hammer here this is comprised of a couple pieces so you have the central piece right here which is separate and then you have these two sections here which thrilla is just messing up my focus here there we go now we can focus on the hammer so we have these two sections here which plug together they tap together right here and then they plug down into the top of the hammer and there are tabs on either side to plug in down here that's how that works and again and you get two more of these bits which again, don't know what they're for, but we have four of them in total, and they store right here. Hopefully at some point we will be told what uh, purpose these serve, but they just store right there. And we also have these bits right here, which just peg on. You don't have to use these if you don't want to. If you want kind of a cleaner hammer, you can totally do that. But the instructions say to plug these in like that. And I personally like these because then the hammer can just kind of stand on its own. So that's a nice little touch. There you go. Just gives him a big old hammer to wield and the handle itself does have little slots on these two sections here this bottom section you can also rotate so if you can get them holding it with two hands you can do so but as usual is the typical tab and slot connection here just line that up like so wrap his fingers around it and there you go he can get his hammer on and smash 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 and all of that good stuff right there and last but not least you get these bits right here now these are intended for combined mode they're basically going to be like knee braces um but you can use these on thorilla himself and you want them oriented thusly and you open this section up and there's a tab right here on his forearm which will go into this slot right here so you just tab these on like so and just bring that up and just kind of wrap that around his hand so again just open that up and tab that on and just bring that up and these basically just become big old boxing gloves hey why not there i say why not it's a use for them so hey i can work with it i can work with it a big old metal gorilla with some big old metal boxing gloves hey i'm here for it so there you have that and now for comparison hunt here he is with masterpiece mags just you can see how that works out and here he is with the g creation optimus primal just because you know they look like they could be related why not dare i say why not and there you have the family portrait i think that's the best i can do with uh, getting them all in frame but dang they look good together they look really really good together an awesome looking set in my opinion so there you go so that is basically it for the robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So let's get him into beast mode. And to do that, first thing we are going to do, if we're going to come up here, we're just going to uh, untab these shoulder pads here. Make sure this little tab stays up like that. There's one on either side. So just bring those up and out. Untab that. Bring that up and out. Make sure those little tabs stay in like so and bring those arms up we're then going to rotate the arm to shoulder and drop them down like that rotate and drop them down say so sit lower like so and then we're going to just rotate the forearm around and what we're going to do here is we're going to open this section up and we're going to open this section up also. You want to turn the fist inward like that. And just fold that up into the form. And then bring this hand out. So get all that situated and fold it up. Of course, not everything wants to fight me because, of course. There we go. Get that closed up like so. And close that up right there actually before you do that you want to flip these cannons in you can leave them out if you want to totally up to you if you want to leave the cannons out you can totally do so but bring that fist around 
And there you go, second verse is just like the first. So again, just rotate that forearm around and open that up. And open this up. Again, turn that hand in. You want the thumb out. And then just bring that up, bring that up. Clap that up into the body. I mean, into the, the forearm, rather. That's not the body. That's the forearm. The forearm is the body of the arm. I mean, I think we can all agree on that. But anyway, fold the cannons in. Close that up. Rotate that fist around. And there you go. So you got that all ready. So now we're going to come back up here. We're going to open up this old chest panel. Rotate the head. 180. Tuck that in and close that back up. I'm going to then open up this panel here and bring out the Thorilla head. Rotate that around and then close that back up like so. Let's make sure these little panels here stay tucked up under his monkey row boobs. And what we're going to do now so we're going to come back to the arms here and we're going to unpeg them and they're now going to peg into these two ports right here so just bring that forward and just peg that in like that once you do that you can bring the shoulder pad forward and then this will just collapse in and tab in right there like that it's actually a little panel here we can flip out and just bring that down and there you have that all done. Second verse, like the first. So bring that out. That will extend. And plug that in. Slide that forward. Collapse it in. Like that. Flip out this extra little panel here. And just get that all situated. And there we go. And we are on our way. So now we move on to the lower body. Just bring up this flap here, rotate the waist 180, and there is now a tab slot connection right here. So just tab that in like that. You then want to rotate the legs 180 at the thigh right there. So what we're going to do here is we are going to open up the section right here, and then the leg will just collapse in, you can get this out of the way, collapse the leg in right here. Let's bring that down, and you have a tab slot connection right here, so just lock that in. This bit here, you just want to bring out, bring that all the way down and under, you can bring down his monkey toes, flip that toe forward, you can bring the robot toes up like that. And there you go. And second verse, guess what? It's just like the first. So again, open that up. Get things situated and just shift that downward. Like so. Close that up. Bring all of that down. Toesies, toesies, heelies. Bring that up like that. Now, to get the orientation, that they want in the instructions, you're going to bend the leg at this hinge right here, the upper hinge. So just bring that all the way, and then take a little knee spike here, a little knee pad, and bring that up and over, and that will sit like that. And do that on the other side. Just fold that up, bring that up and over. And there we go. Make sure that stays together. Like that. Get everything situated here, bring his head up, and there you go. There you have Thorilla in his beast mode. And he is just a big old beefy monkey, and I do quite like him. Looks real good, looks real good, in my opinion. We'll just give it a turn around here. But yeah. I think that works out. I mean, if you want him standing up straight, you can totally do so. Um, but this is the position they, they want him in, per the instructions. But you can totally have him standing upright. Totally up to you, as always. It's yours. Display it however you wish. But yeah, I think he looks 
quite, quite cool, but let's get in close here so we can take a look at that beautiful, beautiful noggin of his. I love how he has just kind of like a natural sneer going on. Put some nice silver going on there. You can open up his mouth. Got the teeth in there as well. And when you just have it, it's kind of slightly, slightly open. It kind of has like the Stallone lip, which is kind of cool. <laughs> you do have the transclear right for the eyes right here on the forehead. Unfortunately, there's no real light piping, so it ends up looking kind of dead. But it is there. But, oh no, I think it works out quite well. You get some new big old beefy hands here, which are nice and articulated. Same articulation as the robot mode hands, pretty much. I mean, you have this thumb that can move to either side if you need it to, because reasons. But you pretty much have the same amount of articulation as the robot mode hands had. It can also extend. Because reasons. I don't know if there's a reason for them to extend, but they can extend some. I don't know. But hey, things you can do if you want to do it. But overall, I think he looks quite cool. Look at those toesies. Look at those toesies. Oh, those monkey toesies. Can't resist some monkey toesies. But there you go. <laughs> that was just weird. I don't know. But anyway, there is the monkey mode. And can he roll? No, but he can slide. He can slide like monkey slide. Hooray for sliding. Like the ice capades. There you go. He can, he can ice skate. He's an ice skating monkey. So there you have that. Man, for comparison, here he is again with Megs. And again with the Generation Toy Primal. So you can see how that works out. They look cute together, don't they? They look adorable. Oh. And here we have the family photo. Minus one, of course, but still a beautiful looking family right here. These are some sexy beasts. Definitely some sexy beasts. <laughs> so, there you go. Now, as far as storage goes for the weapons, the only thing they show is the uh, the big old blaster here. Um, you can remove these bits here. You can use these slots and these tabs right here. And you can just tab that in. And have that sitting over his shoulder, like that. Thing you can do if you want to do it. If you don't want to do that, there is this post right here that you can flip down. And you can just plug that into the shoulder pad itself. So again, things you can do if you want to do it. That would probably look a little bit better in robot mode because you can actually have it pointing forward. But again, it's a point of attachment if you want points of attachment. It's storage. Hooray for storage. But yeah, as far as the hammer goes, uh, yeah, there's there's probably nothing you can do with the hammer here other than have him hold it. I mean, he can hold the hammer, but, you know, as far as actually storing it somewhere on here, probably not. Another note about the hammer, too. Again, all of these bits here are separate parts. Um, these two pieces do serve a purpose for combined mode. I'll show that off when we actually combine all these guys. Um, but for now, we'll just leave it as is. These bits, I have no idea what the purpose of these are. I'm sure they serve some purpose in combined mode, have no idea, but these two pieces, they do show in the instructions how they serve in combined mode, but again, we'll show that off when we get to actually combining all these guys. So that is basically it for the beast mode, so let's get down to transformation again, shall we? Oh, jeez, that didn't end well, sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway, so let's get down to combined mode now, so... What we're going to do is we're just going to uh, just bring these down first. We're just going to straighten out his legs so we can have him standing up right here. Just make life a little bit easier for us. There we go. So, eight, hey, you stand. You stand because it's normal. There we go. So, now that we are here, what we're going to do, again, is we're going to un do these shoulder pads. I'm going to open this chest section up. You want to also open this back section here and you want to flip out this big post right here. Luckily you can get behind it and push it out and bring that up. You can close that up, rotate the beast mode head around, tuck that back in and close that back up like so. So what we're going to do here is we are going to now unpeg the arms and slide them in 
unpeg and slide in like that. And we have to do a little bit of work here. So we're going to rotate the arm so the elbow joint is facing the inside, right in there. And just turn this around like so. And now we're going to open this up. We're going to flip out these cannons. We're going to flip the fist in. You want to make sure that the fist isn't a proper fist. That's the way you want that looking. You also want to make sure that the robot mode thumb is kind of flattened out in here. Because if not, things will not sit as they should. So just bring that up. And all that should just tuck right in. Close that up, and these cans will just flip under like that. And we're just going to leave it like that for now. Actually, we can't bring these out, so they're out of our way. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, just rotate the arm so that elbow is now facing inward. Like that, like that. Open that up. Flip that out. And undo this. Rotate around again. Get the hand in a proper fist, make sure that robot mode thumb is flattened out, tuck that in, close that up, and tuck that under like so, and get these up and out of the way, like that. So once we have done that, you want to flip down this little tab here, this little hook tab, and then the shoulder pad will slide forward and that hook tab will go right in here. So just slide that forward, line that up, and that will tab in just like that. Secure that into place. Same thing on the other side. Just bring that down. There we go. And just slide that forward. And if you have everything sitting just right, that uh, should just go right into its home. That's how you want that looking right there. So again, you can just leave this as it is for now. And we're gonna come back here to the uh, beast mode chest your region. And what's gonna happen here is we're gonna to take these, they're on a double hinge, so you just want to swing them out. This bit right here is on a ball joint and a hinge, so it's gonna bring this down, rotate around so that lines up there. This little panel here you flip out. And again, you're just gonna bring this up, get it out of the way. Same thing here. Bring that out, just kind of bring that down, rotate it around, line that up, bring that panel down, and there you go. And again, just get that up and get that out of your way. So now, we have a little cool bit here, which I do quite like. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up, bring up these skirt panels here. There are these sections here that you're going to open up. Just open this bit up here, and you have this little bit here that opens up as well. Come up under here and undo that. That will fold up like that. We're gonna leave that for now. Do the same thing on the other side. Just open this, open that, get up under here, and open that, collapse that up like so. You're now going to bring the legs out. You're going to open up his, I guess, two crotch panels. Open that up, and that will allow you to take all this and split it to the sides. This side likes to fight me. There we go. And once we have that in place, we now basically have a track. So now the leg is going to slide up and situate itself right in here like that. I think that's pretty cool. And once you've done that, you then close this up and close that up. And same thing on your side. Just push this up and then we'll just drop itself into place, close that up and close that up right there. Once you do that, you can take these two halves, squeeze them back together, and then just close all this right back up and then you can bring these back down and bring this back down so you can bring these legs down you're going to rotate them 
at the thigh again. And now we got some work to do with the legs here. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to just bring this up so we have some clearance here. You got this panel right here. You're gonna open this up and rotate it and flip it up like so. You have this panel here on the side. It's gonna open that up and just leave that as it is for now. You're gonna take the robot mode feet, just kind of pull them out a little bit so they untab themselves, like that. This whole assembly here, this whole armature here, you wanna pull this out and just rotate this up. That will end up right there. And you're going to rotate the foot in, you're using that ankle pivot and everything here. And you have a tab that will end up in this slot right here. So just line that up and that will just drop in right there like that and that's how you want that looking they can just flip that toe in flip these toes up and you are good to go and this section here you're just going to pull this out and just bring it up that will sit there so you have your symmetry now to get the combiner peg out i'm not going to do this here because again the, the ratchets are super tight and i'm not going to fight with them on camera but what you want to do is you're going to open this up and they give you this convenient little panel right here that you flip up. So that way you can actually push the peg out from here. So you can push it out and then flip it the rest of the way out. Again, it's a very tight joint, so I'm not going to fight with it here. But you flip that out, then you can close all this back up like so. And then this bit right here will come up and over. You have these tabs which are going to these little notches right here in the gold section. And we'll also clip in right under that right there. And once you've done that, you just angle this back. There's a little tab slot connection right there for it. And that'll sit right there. Like so. And there you have that side all done. And second verse is just like the first. And there we have both sides done. Now, this is where these bits come in. Now, the hip joints on their own, you can see, are just... A regular friction joint kind of squeaky but it's just a regular friction joint but if we bring these bits in and you want it oriented just like this and what these are going to do is these are going to slide in you don't want to drop them that's not a step you want to bring these in and they will drop in and they slot in they are key to specific way so they just slot right in like that and once you have those in place it is now a ratchet and that is pretty cool. I love how that works. Very, very clever design there. So again, just bring this down and it will just slide in. Just make sure that hip is straight. Just slide that right in and voila. Now you have ratcheting hips. That's really cool, I dig that. So once we've done that, we can just bring these down. And these are just going to be like the crotch skirt pieces for combined mode and we're good to go there so now we can finish tidying up all of this back here so what's going to happen here to bring these down we're now going to fold the arms up using all those hinges at our disposal and we have a tab that will go into a slot right here in the chest so just line that up and tab that in and do the same thing here, just swing that around. And just line that up and plug that in like so. And you may need to just kind of fiddle around with the joints here just to get everything sitting kind of flush here. Make sure they're just married to each other nicely. And again, just use all these hinges here. Just work with them. But roundabouts, I'm not going to fight with these too much, but you get the idea. You get the idea. It's just a case of just having like the forearms and everything just situated just right for everything to just line up perfectly. But once you do, they will, they will behave. But that's roundabouts what you are looking at there. And once you do that, these will just come down and kind of open them up a little bit. So these will be the side skirt pieces. 
And there you go, get all this straightened out. And there he is, there is Thorilla in his pants mode. And yes, he becomes the mighty Predacrotch. That's right, the mighty Predacrotch. Now, the knee braces, um, I'll show off how the knee braces work again. When we combine all these guys, I'll show off how these work. But yeah, there is a Thorilla in Predacrotch mode. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good looking Predacrotch. It's a good looking Predacrotch. With a Preda booty and everything, you know, hey, I can work with it. I can work with it. But that is <laughs> pretty much it, so. There you go! So there you have Thorilla and Ru Sirius, and uh, yeah, again, some fantastic figures here from Kang Toys. I've been loving these Predacons, and even these new characters they're putting out. I'm absolutely loving them. I think they're really well done. Um, Thorilla is just a big, beefy, chunky boy, and I love him to death. Robot mode looks great. The beast mode looks great. The transformation, I mean, there, there are some stiff joints. It, you know, it, it fights you a little bit, but nothing frustrating. It's just, you know, some tight joints you have to work with. But it all works pretty well. A little bit of fiddle factor, but again, nothing frustrating. It's just due to all the tightness with the joints. But overall, they still work well. And yeah, just one more to go and we can finally form Thunder King. So there you go. And now I pick this up from TF Safari. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. And if you use the promo code 2022MGOREVIEW, you can get a discount on your order. And for all your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com, as always linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. You can also check out the Thunder King playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the King of Toys, Thorilla and Rusirius. And this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Bomb in your face! What the? No! Hey, big guy! No, wait, I've heard of you! You're one of those new Predacons! Don't you turn into a big overgrown monkey! Ha! That'll never catch on! I'm feeling very disrespected right now.